Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Happy and I'm the Crafty Chemist. I am doing a haul video. I'm so ashamed of myself because I said I wasn't going to do any more purchasing this year and then the election happened and I <laughs> felt really bad so I bought some things. Now, one of the things that came was from a previous purchase, and that is this watercolor set. So I got um, Terrain, Art Philosophy, the um, Primo watercolors, and I had a set before. It was the vintage set, and I have added other ones in here. So the vintage is this row and this row. And then these are ones that I've added in to go with it. So, you know, you have these colors and then I added in, I took those out, but I've added in these colors here. I did that so that I could have a little bit more variety. Plus there's room in there for it. And each month I have a challenge for myself to use only one set of my art supplies or one brand of my art supplies to color an entire page. And this month I wanted to do Prima watercolors, the Art Philosophy Prima watercolors, but this color set is pretty limited. And then I went ahead and expanded it to whatever I've stored in there. And so yesterday, after being lost in the mail for weeks, the, the terrain set showed up. And so these are the colors of, well, still, this is still not dry. Um, these are the colors of the terrain set. And it is, again, th this row and this row, except for that one. And I added some more of my, um, these are handmade watercolors, these four and this one, and then some others that I had um, that didn't fit with some of my other sets because I just have some that I've squirted into the little pans. So these were made by a friend of mine, um, Apothefairy, and their pigments are, their earth pigments. So they don't wet very well, but the colors are nice and it actually goes pretty well with most of this because this one has a whole row of like greens. And so that allowed me to do a lot more with those colors than I was able to do with just the vintage pastel. And I used the two of them on a page that had just finished. And then I don't think I shared that I had gotten this set of, uh, these are the um, Boko Undo Japanese watercolors. This is the Shadow Black set. And um, so I wanted to share this cause I hadn't even used it yet. Maybe I did, but I hadn't used it. I pulled it out and so, I used it a little bit on something I was coloring. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. I've colored a number of things already this month. So this one has some black mixed in with it and uh, it does some really fantastic things. I really like these. When I was coloring or painting with them, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Well, I saw then that Amazon had the two for three. And so I went ahead and got six coloring books. And this one, actually, I didn't realize it had just come out this year in 2024. And it's the Kawaii Mandala coloring book. It says 32 super cute designs that bring joy and happiness by Danny Banani. And there's a little bit about mandalas in it. And then a little bit about coloring and the kinds of things you can use to color and some color schemes and some ways to add some shading and blending and highlighting. And then there's some examples of the mandalas colored. And then we finally get into the ones that can be colored by whoever, you know, has the book. And there's a few more examples. I don't know if they're different or the same ones, but I looked in the back and now they look, there's a couple of different ones. I don't remember seeing that one. And then there's the sloths. But I don't think that all of them are colored in for you, for examples. The paper is kind of thin, but it is removable. And it is basically one-sided. So actually, it's not as thin as Amazon paper seems to be. So this it's not bad, but there's a lot of little tiny details in here. And then there's a little thing on the back. So this one is all about breakfast foods. Um, there's like bacon and cereal and eggs and 
waffles and jams and donuts and stuff and coffee and it's like breakfast bonanza you don't have to scramble to finish this mandala it should be over easy and there's some art one this art one i am in love love with this llama one and there's even some llama corns on there and there was another one i went it just was like oh this is so cute so cute this whole book is just adorable and I'm so, so happy that I got it. Um, yeah, I, I, this is gonna be the best. I can see picking a color palette for this and then um, coloring in little barn animals. They're so cute, they're so cute. Mushrooms, baking, these little kitties and coffee. Oh, nothing better. The brew crew. <laughs> oh, here's the ice cream one. Cowboy stuff. Dinosaurs. Robots. That was one of the examples that was colored. Jellyfish. <laughs> so stings happen. A little... It says little cats, little kawaii cats. Oh, there's a little gnome and a bunny. That's so cute. Space. I love the space one. Fruits. Oh, this, oh, this one's all narwhals. And then fried food. <laughs> um, fruit. Looks like strawberries and berries. Yeah. There's the sloths. Vegetables, a little cactus, aren't they cute? And then there's candy and gum, a bunch of little woodland faces, and that's it. So super excited to have this, but now of course this is, I got six books, so this is six more books I'm gonna have to color, so. That was Kawaii Mandala. Somebody, and I don't remember who it was, was showing that they had this woodland color, woodland watercolor well, coloring workbook with watercolor paper in it. And it's by Claire Therese Gray. And I'd had it in my list, in my wish list, off and on. And it hadn't been ever, like, my family didn't buy it. And I let it drop off and I put it back and I hummed and hawed. And then somebody had something, I don't remember which it was, because I honestly watched so many stations, so many stations, so many channels on YouTube um, that I was like, I'm going to get it. And I've been like, I pulled out my watercolors and I've been having so much fun with it. And I was so glad that I got this. And again, it has a lot of techniques to do for, for coloring in here with your watercolors and then it has this really thick paper with the woodland pictures printed on it and I am so excited to get all these pages wet and put tons of watercolor on them and use ink tents and watercolor pans and watercolor pencils and graphite and just everything and then color over it with colored pencils so there's a lot of flip throughs on this i do love this otter page though. i wanted to say that so it's not like there's anything new here this book's been out for a while Does this one come out? Well, i guess it's been out for a year um maybe, maybe it just seems like longer than that to me so if you don't have it and you come across it i would say pick it up if you have any any fun playing with water based media it's, it's a gorgeous book. I can see doing so many fun things with this. So Woodland Watercolor, a coloring workbook by Claire Therese Gray. Then I only have one Christmas book and it is a book I just got at like Barnes and Noble with like about a bunch of stock images. So I saw this Creative Heaven, Creative Haven on the Amazon three for two and it's a color by number. And I thought, well, that, that sounds kind of fun. I mean, that that's like not even really have to think about it. Well, it turns out it's even cooler than that. So it has a 24 color palette. And then it even tells you where to shade things. And you shade it with a little bit of 
black or gray and you shade the color that's next to it. And so actually there's uh, the color by number picture on, on the very first page here. And then they have all of the ones already done with the example color scheme. You know, I could tr probably try to do some of it with the colors a little bit more matched or a little bit more, yeah, just a little bit more because some of the, you know, it's really bright. So, you know, it just comes out super bright. So I'd like to not have it be quite as bright. But there's some really neat pictures in here. Like, look at this Santa Claus with the moon. It's gorgeous. And I'm so excited for this book. And I just, um, it's going to be great. I don't have to think about what colors I want to place where. I just have to put them there. So I don't know if I want to use pencils or markers or paint or, yes, all of the above or mix it up. You know, do put put down paint and then color over it. I don't know. But I was flipping through here and there are so many pictures that I just adore in this book. I just kept getting more and more excited. The cute little nutcracker here. Um, this is cute. My kids had one of these when they were little. They loved it. Loved that thing. And they got so disappointed when they outgrew it. But the lines aren't very dark and the numbers aren't very dark. So it's really going to be fun to color because you won't really see that when you, once it's all finished. I love this little doggy with his little antlers sleeping underneath some holly. And there's a reindeer and the kitty in the window and the snowman and this one. Oh my gosh. I used to live in Arizona. I love saguaro cactus. I'm so excited for that. Plus, I guess these would be like maybe Christmas cactus. They don't really grow there, but they're all blooming in my office right now. So they're not really Christmas cactus. They're like Thanksgiving cactus. But like one of it has um, half of it, the ends have flowers on it. And there's like 12 blooming right now. It's so exciting. So excited for that, uh, to that it did that this year. Like last year I had like two blooms or something. I love this fireplace with the little kitty and the rocking horse. And there's a puppy with the presents. This big old tree. It's like the center of town. And so I'm very excited to pick a few pages out of here to color this year. And just relax and not have to worry about choosing my colors. Or figuring out what I'm going to color, what color, where, and I can just color it and just enjoy it. I love this candy page, but that's the one that I was like, it's way, the color is just way too bright on it. So I may have to play around with it. I love this kitty. Look at that kitty. Isn't that kitty cute? Oh, I love kitties. The horse is so sweet. Some of the pictures, you know, remind me of some of the Teresa Goodrich winter ones that I have. I do not have the Teresa Goodrich Christmas or anything like that. I only have, like I said, the one Christmas book. And so this will give me some choices. Little gingerbread house is so cute. And then the sad thing about it was that this book came damaged. And I didn't notice it until I was getting ready to make this video. I think this is really cool. I'm very interested to see like how that comes out when I when I do it. I may do some special shading on it or something. But yeah, they just are such realistic scenes for one thing for, you know, an actual Christmas thing. So I love it. Um, but yeah, it's damaged. It's torn here. And something happened here and it came in a box so this is damaged before it got put in the box but I really like it and I guess the damage won't hurt me so this is a super thick book that's the other thing this is like the thickest of the creative haven books that I have now this one I took a gamble on I didn't know anything about it um, but it sounded fun with vintage Christmas coloring book for adults at old-fashioned Christmas but I'm so disappointed in it it's really bad. It has a, color, a copyright of 2019. I think it's like old images from, you know, early to mid 1900s that were made into black and white and put in here. It doesn't like have any kind of copyright or anything, but the pictures in it are so bad. And they have more of these books. I'm just like, how, how? They're so bad. 
like this has been blown up so that it's not even ugh, it's pixelated this is it's bad this is probably the worst coloring book I've ever gotten and I don't know about returning it I mean I kind of got it for free so I can just really I guess trash this book you know like I'm not gonna throw it away I may try coloring it or testing things out on it and just using it as that kind of thing but like look at that it's terrible it's terrible I've it, this is bad so if this is one that you've looked at and thought oh I'd like to have that don't don't I don't know what I paid for it because I got them on the two for three three for two and just don't like look at that it's terrible so bad these are so so bad I've never seen anything this bad um I know it's not AI art like I said I think it's like scanned in and then converted to black and white you can see where things have been cut off <sighs> the most disappointing thing I've ever gotten it could be really cute um but like look at this they don't even have the same line weight in this image I you can see my face it's so bad like this little girl in the front I don't know I, I don't know what I thought like I guess I didn't pay much attention I really couldn't tell like this was just bad because I saw this and I saw this and I saw this I was like oh that's cute that's things that they've colored in I didn't expect it to be shaded um oh it's so bad you know, look at Santa like the his cheeks are not even like a solid shading it's like I don't even know I don't know what you would call that it's really bad it's this could be cute it's not it's this is so pathetic look at this it's like they took a sticker or something and then put shading behind it why why did we do that this is terrible just then I got Brambly Hedge. Somebody else mentioned it. Again, I, I watched so many YouTube channels. I don't know. I saw it was there. I was like, oh, I saw that it was somebody's. But that's going to be, that'll be fun. I'm going to get that one. And it is. It's really cute. I'm trying to see how far I got. How much room I have. So, I mean, right away you open it up and it's got this amazing page right here. It's so cute. So cute. And it has a little bit of a story in here. Um, this book is from, I don't see it. Oh, 2024. So this is a new book. Okay. It has all the little characters that you can color or, you know, so you could make a color key if you wanted for all of them. I might, I might not. I don't know. Um, and then the pictures are just so cozy and adorable. And some of them are, you know, little ones on one page. And then there's some wallpapery or mosaic-y kind of ones. I like that, too. And then, okay, you guys, this one, I gasped. I have never seen anything so accurately done. We have this spinning wheel here. And they're getting set up for the weaving. And I got so excited because spinning is my thing. I love my spinning wheels. And... I am trying to do some weaving. I suck at it, but look at this weaving loom. Look at that. And there's another one here. And I think you might be getting a warp ready to go or something. I don't know. But this spinning wheel, the spinning wheel, it's so perfect. Somebody knew what they were looking at and what was going on and what they were doing. And this is amazing. I cannot wait to color this one. And... There, I mean, it's just the pages just keep going on like that. It's not a very thick book. So, I mean, if you were trying to pick one to finish, it wouldn't be necessarily bad to finish. It's called a festive book, but it's not really festive. It's just, like, I guess you could say seasonal. I don't know. They do have a party at the end. Um, and there's a couple of them with, like, something that could be kind of like a Christmas tree, but they don't talk any kind of festives like that, which I mean, mice, what kind of holidays would mice have? 
They get the winter holidays. I love this. Look at their little house. It's so cute. A cozy old fire there. And then this one, they're like getting all set up to play on their on their little floor in their playroom. What's really funny is there's like spider webs all over in here. <laughs> they need dust. This is so cool. This is like sideways, but that's their whole like house. A, like close up from before and they're getting ready to have a ball and then they have their dances and see there's like the holly berries and stuff I mean that would be so fun and then here they have all of the foods and stuff and um, they got, I guess this is a fireplace it seems like it might be and they got a little tree here and they're all just eating and having a party they're having so much fun I want to have this party. Anybody want to come to this party with me? Oh, it's so cute. And see then there, I think that's like a Christmas tea tree kind of thing. But it's so cute. And then it ends with going to sleep. I mean, they had so much fun. It makes me sleepy. So this is Brambly Hedge Festive Coloring Book by Jill Barklam. Super cute. Can't wait to do the spinning wheel. And then this was on there. And so, and so I picked it up. I have a lot of Mythographics and since it was on the three for two, plus I think it had a sale on it, I got it. And as I was looking through it, I think there's other flip throughs, so I probably won't go through the whole thing, but I was like, every page just needs to be rainbow colored, like complete rainbow colored. Because they don't all have a rainbow, like there's no rainbow here. And then they have kind of rainbows coming off of them here. So it could be like ribbons. But I just think that like there's no real rainbow here. I mean, I guess, I guess it's kind of like a rainbow bridge. But just make everything as rainbow as possible. Just make this the over-the-top rainbow book. If I want to color a rainbow, pick up this book and color everything rainbow. It's lots of crystals with a unicorn and... Again, not really a rainbow, but I can see this being dark side of the moon kind of thing. And we have these eyeballs and the flowers. Just rainbow. Just start at one side, rainbow, all the way across. And hey, it gets you using all the colors, right? Um, so again, rainbow. No exact rainbow here, but again, rainbow. Like rainbow galaxy or rainbow planets or rainbow greenhouse let's have a different name but I can't remember what it is I think these are really neat these stingray butterflies but they got to be swimming in a rainbow and a rainbow whirlpool thingy <laughs> obviously we got rainbows coming out of the elephant and rainbows here so that's easy this one's a cute one I, I really think that one's neat I'd love to live in that tree um I mean, rainbow all around the outside, like a frame, I guess. Rainbow mushrooms or rainbow river or just over the top, rainbow, 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 under, under rainbow. Rainbow with the birds. Rainbow waterfalls. Rainbow around the boat with rainbow narwhals. Gotta be rainbow sparkly. Oh my gosh, you can go over the top. Glitter, glitter everywhere. Sparkly glitter. Look at these. These are all the carnivorous plants, barfing out rainbows. Rainbow bird, rainbow leaves, rainbow planets, rainbows coming out of the rainbow planets, rainbow. This has to be a rainbow castle. Like going into the castle is like a big long rainbow. Kind of like in, what's that? Thor's planet, Asgard. I mean, rainbow octopus why not these guys have got to be rainbows i think there was one on the oh this guy here on the front he's not exactly the same but it's kind of a rainbow he's only like half a rainbow we need to go total full-on rainbow these guys rams rainbow rams yes you have the rainbow aurora borealis she's Gotta have rainbow hair. Gotta. 
rainbow umbrellas, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow dress, rainbow, rainbow snakes, weird snakes. These guys are weird. What, what snakes with horns, whatever. I don't care. Rainbow. I mean, she's obviously pouring out a rainbow into this rainbow pond, some sort of goddess, but we can't have regular animals. They gotta be rainbows. The rainbow with the kites. We have a goose. Maybe another goose. I don't know. Rainbow though. Everything rainbow. Rainbow. I think his wing the wings of prey mantises are so cool. And he's got bells on. So that's weird. But this could be Christmas. Maybe this is Christmas. Why has it got a bell attached to it? What is he what are you doing, praying mantis? I don't know. We're rainbow in that. Rainbow. Look at the look at the rainbow. And we get bright pink flamingos. And rainbow clouds. Rainbow. Rainbow raindrops with little castles in them. Yes, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Total rainbow heaven. Look at all those rainbows. Lovely rainbows. Each of those bubbles can have little rainbows on them, like oil slicks. They're gonna be awesome. Her hair, each one strand is a rainbow. Oh, a squirrel. Hmm. Rainbow tail on the squirrel, for sure. Rainbow tail. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Lots of rainbowness here, too. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's gonna be a rainbow. And all the eggs are gonna be different colored over the rainbow. Oh yes, rainbow walrus with golden teeth. And lots of sparkly columns, rainbows. This thing is weird, but it's gonna be a rainbow. These rainbow tigers, I don't know, lions, lions, rainbow lions. I, I was looking at that one and I thought maybe it was a tiger. No, it's a lion. They're going to live in some sort of rainbow palace. Maybe they're black. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. Again, with the snakes with the thingies, but apples and pears? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Rainbows, though. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Everything rainbow. Oh, this could be fun. It could just be a pastel rainbow. It doesn't have to be a bright rainbow. Dark rainbows are fun. I don't know. That maybe a, a muted rainbow. All right, lots and lots of rainbows. Um, I don't know how many times I said rainbow in there, but that's the latest of the new stuff. Six more books to color in. I've been coloring in nothing but new books. Well, that's not true. Well, that's not true. Um, and I should do another video here soon, but for now, I am happy, and this is happy, and we say bye-bye. Thanks for watching.